Last week, Alabama went to Knoxville and won its seven straight over Tennessee. The tight defense is now number one in the nation against the run in total defense and in scoring defense. Ole Miss put some D of its own on Arkansas last week. Eight sacks with Dwayne Dotson leading the way. Today, it's Gene Stallings Tide hosting Billy Brewer's Rebels. And dancing through the hole up over the 45-yard line is Corey Philpott, a senior from Melbourne, Florida. He played Juco ball at Itawamba a couple of years ago. That was a 15-yard play on first down. There's the fullback, Courtney. He's into Alabama territory. Down to the 42-yard line. Marvin Courtney, a junior out of Greenville, Mississippi. Played the NFL and the Canadian Football League for a while. Did a play action to Phil Pot. Over to the near side, and it's broken up. Antonio Langham, the left corner, covering Eddie Small. Pass interference. Defense. Automatic first down. Spot of the fall. His longest this year, 49. This from 51, drifting to the right, and no good. So the game stays scoreless. Richard Chisholm, his third kick already. Hasn't really enabled David Palmer to return much of anything. He launches this one way up in the air, way back the 22-yard line. Palmer on a reverse. Gives the ball off. It's number 10, Tommy Jackson. He's over the 35-yard line. And they aren't bad. They're only giving up 86 yards a game on the ground. There's Brian Deal to kick it again. Kind of a wobbly spiral. It'll hit at the 24 and get a tremendous roll all the way down to the one-and-a-half-yard line. Quick look, and this one is intercepted. George Teague has it. And he will be out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Ball was tipped by Derek Oden, the inside linebacker, and George Teague pulled down his second interception of the year, the 10th of his Alabama career. Field position, field position, field position. First down, Martin Houston, nothing there. Rebels say, bring it right to us, Alabama. Second down and 12. And here they come. There's the sack. Right in the middle of it, Dwayne Dotson. And Dotson, who had three against Arkansas, now has seven. Third and 20. Parker up top, end zone. Homer, touchdown! his first receiving touchdown of the year. And Alabama leads it 6-0. Volunteers of the Gamecocks. South Carolina plays a night game at Vanderbilt this evening. Michael Proctor on the kickoff. Mark Smith for Ole Miss. Angling over the 25 and the 30. And out near the 35-yard line before George Teague brought him down on the kickoff coverage team. Put six points on the board. Pretty good catch by David Palmer. Second down and eight. Draw play. Do innocent on the carry. Gowles to the first man, and John Bell is tripped up. Palmer back at his own 15. Chisholm with a low snap. Time to get it off, but it wobbles. Palmer will take it at the 13-yard line. Straight ahead, not a whole lot there. He'll get about nine of it back, though. Did you see that Virginia score? They better not be thinking about Florida State next week. Trailing William and Mary. Parker, nice touch. Palmer has it. Out at midfield. And flags again. 
Abdul Jackson. Yep. This is probably the smartest offensive line Five in the ball country. Ball. Offside. Defense. Five yard penalty. Results in a first down. There's a little swing out to Palmer. Couldn't get inside. Fumble. And it looks like it was covered by an offensive linesman downfield. I think it was Matt Hammond, 63. On second and two. That was Chris Anderson feeling his way through. Anderson, a good, experienced backup to Der Derek Lassig at the tailback spot. And they're going to always be positive in turnovers. Mason is stopping the run. They're setting the SEC and running it. On first down, this one right down the sidelines, Kevin Lee. First down at the 13, Parker to Lee. Cuts inside, he's down to the five. Johnny Dixon knocked him down from behind. Third down and two at the five. Single back set, there's Houston motioning. Anderson gets the pitch, cuts it up. Inside the three, down to the two, and that will be a first down. First and goal from the two. Houston and Lassick behind Parker. Lassick has it up, not over, so he walks into the end zone. The defense bounced him to the outside, and he took it in. Alabama leads 13-0. Ole Miss only 51 yards of total offense today. Virtually none of that through the air. There's Dew Innocent. Good yardage on first down out over the 35-yard line. Two minutes to go, second and four. They'll go with play action. Out to the left side. That is Eddie Small over the 45 to the 47-yard line. Ole Miss has all of its timeouts remaining. First down out at the 47. Small down the sideline. He's got it, and he will score. Eddie Small took it right away from George Teague and high-stepped it into the end zone. A 53-yard touchdown play with a minute 26 to go before halftime. Don't forget, though, David Palmer standing back by his goal line for the ensuing kickoff. Brian Lee will kick it for the Rebels. And he will pooch it high in the air, far side, 8-yard line. And that is Chris Anderson. He breaks it near side, over the 30 over the 35-yard line, a flag on the play. You know he's going to lose to a good team Holy. once in a while. On the return team, back up 10 yards, spot to fall. After the play was over, personal fall. White team, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. First down for the Tide at the 37. They've got time, two timeouts remaining. Barker, far side, Chris Wendley, out of bounds at the 37. I, I got talked into that. That wasn't the smart thing to do, but I did it, and, uh, and now here he goes again. Those linemen love to go for it on fourth down. Barker, throwing, ball might have been tipped. It's caught by Wembley inside the 20. This will be a 28-yarder near the far hash by Michael Proctor. Out of Oakman, Alabama. Excuse me, Pelham, Alabama. Has no problem with that one. He is now 14 of 21 this year. It was scoreless after one quarter of play. A Palmer touchdown, a Lassick touchdown, put Bama in control. But Eddie Small with a long touchdown pass from Russ Shouse got Ole Miss back in it with a minute 26 to go. And then driving it down and getting the field goal, Alabama now leads 17 to 7 at half. Tied by 10 at the half. They're trying to go 8 and 0. Looking for 5 and 0 in the SEC with a win here today. Palmer is back at his one. He's got some room up to the 25. He'll be cracked down right at the 30-yard line. Parker has to run out. Left side. 
and the ball was caught out near the 40, maybe close enough for a first down, Kevin Lee. Kevin Lee makes the catch. It's a first down for Alabama. Yeah, it was Amos gambling on the interception. On first down, Derek Lassick all the way out to midfield. Four games over 100 yards. Second leading rusher in the SEC. Nine on that carry. And they call on the fullback. Martin Houston for the first down. Worked very well together under the tutelage of Danny Pierman and Jimmy Fuller. Palmer in motion. He went one way, then the other got the deep pitch. And he'll get down over the 40-yard line. Great down at one. Houston just trying to barrel his way ahead. Artis Ford had his arms around him. And Martin Houston at 5'10", 235, the uh, proverbial low center of gravity was tough to bring down. On the first and 10, they let him come. Here's the screen. Anderson inside the 25, the 20, down to the 15-yard line. But Jay Parker has a new career high in pass completions with 15. He may want to wear that brace every week. He fakes, pumps it into the end zone, intercepted as Prince Wembley stopped the pattern and Dwayne Amos followed the ball into the deep reaches of the end zone. Amos with his first interception of the year. Chisholm will kick it. He's had a long of 51 today and a pretty good average. David Palmer, boy, he's dangerous when he's standing around midfield. Something could happen for Bama here. And look at the long kick by Chisholm. Palmer at his 35, trying to get outside. And he'll get almost up to midfield. I thought he was tackled, and all of a sudden he squirted loose again. He just can't get that last score he needs to really get a hold on this ball game as long as it's a 10-point game too close to call Parker out to the right side nice grab by Kevin Lee Ross the only senior second and 12 Parker out to the left side and that's Curtis Brown third and six for the tide at the 34 of Ole Miss Parker who's having a big day has to wait oh. he gets it and that is Curtis Brown. He almost breaks it. Danny Boyd caught up with him. First and goal from the eight. It's Williams, the sophomore, inside the five. Good yardage on first down for the Crimson Tide. Defensively, make a play once in a while, but you figure they'll drop one. Third and goal from the one. It's Williams cutting up. Touchdown, Alabama. Sherman Williams, his fourth rushing, rushing touchdown of the year, and then makes it 23 to 7 with 13.28 to go. Almost half the field in 3.18 for the scoring drive. Proctor will let it go. And it is Joe Woods inside his five. Check it, it's 41. That's Mark Smith. He's still on his feet. He's almost out to midfield and across midfield. Everybody was missing number 41. Ole Miss, two out of nine on third down today. This is third and ten. Launching one high in the air. And it looks like George Teague might have picked it off. We have a flag. There was a cornerback running with the receiver. George Teague was in a safety position there, coming from the middle of the field and went up, played the ball beautifully. This will negate the interception. It'll go against Alabama. First down at the 32. Take to the fullback. Action play. And Russ Shows, who had run the ball 39 times this year for minus 10 coming in. The man on the carry. Play action. Drilled out to the right side, and that ball is caught. Down around the 15-yard line on a great grab by Eddie Small. Well, they'll go for the field goal, a 32-yarder here. And it is stroked through nicely by Brian Lee. I guess uh, Billy Brewer figuring, I need three scores. Let's get the sure three, and then we'll hope for a couple of touchdowns later. 
still a long way to go. And this could be a big play in the game. Third and ten for Bama. Well, that will get it back to the Rebels if they don't convert. Parker with time. He's got a man, but it is short of the first down. They've done an exceptional job of making the tackle and preventing any additional yardage from being gained. Brian Deal with the kick. Wobbly spiral won't hang up. He gets another great bounce. And now it will be taken by Jermaine Kahn. There's a flag link back at the 33-yard line of Alabama. Holding on the offensive team. Wait a second now. Holding on the line of scrimmage. Ten-yard penalty, previous spot. Results in a first down. Well, they gave us the wrong team. So Parker with another chance. That side, that is pulled down on a great catch. Number 37, Kevin Lee. They run one for every point they give up. Whoa. They've got an incentive not to give up a lot of them. Parker to Anderson. He cuts it up. Very close to first down yardage. Fourth and one. Parker keeps it. It appears he's over the 20-yard line, which would move the chains. And Alabama will have at least four more downs. You know, he put the ball on the ground to kick a field goal here, but the he comes from the old school, and he feels like he has a chance to be there at the end. He may have Miami in the Sugar Bowl, and he'll have a shot then for the national championship. This one twisting to the left, and missing it was Michael Proctor from 35 yards out. This defense has given a lot of people a tough day. Shouldn't feel alone about that. Fumble. By John Copeland. Right to him after the failed exchange, and that may snuff out any hopes Ole Miss has of winning today. Jay Barker with the biggest day by an Alabama quarterback in the last three years. Working on that spitting a little bit. Had only well, thrown get that down if you want to be an All-American, Jay. Had only <laughs> thrown for 800 yards in seven ball games. Third down and 11. Bergdorf rushed. Running up the middle. Down to the 10 yard line, and that's close to a first down. Fourth and one. Bergdorf keeps. And that rugby scrum looks good enough for a first down. We do have a flag, though. Offsides on Ole Miss. First and goal from the four. Pitch to Williams, getting outside. He will score. Sherman Williams with a second touchdown of the day. Third down and five for the Rebels, working out of the eye. Williams with a little play action. He gets out there quickly, and he will scoot to the near side. He needed the 39-yard line for a first down. At least here in Tuscaloosa. There's a pitch to do with us, and he's got the first down. He breaks it, and he might go, but he will be caught inside the 20, and it may have taken a face mask to get him. Third down and four. Look out. Here comes Lockett. And Victor Lockett sacks Lawrence Adams. He will wobble it out to the right side, and Eddie Small can't hold on. It was way short of first down yardage, and that'll do it with nine seconds to go. Even Keel, head coach, is Gene Stalin. You bet. Don't, don't brood about a defeat too long. Don't gloat over a victory. Well, they can celebrate this one for a couple of weeks because they don't play again until November 7th. Alabama goes 8-0. Their 18th consecutive win. You know, they've now won 25 out of 29 since that 0-3 start in 1990. They were all over the coach then. He's the folk hero now. And a big day for Jay Parker.
It looks like a bear. In fact, Bama is back. They've been back for a while. They never really went away. 